Today's class is going to be um, a little bit of an inclusion or fusion, if you will, of mat Pilates, bar Pilates, and a little bit of yoga. So it's taking a few of my favorite things, meshing them all into one class, um, and this will be a little bit more of an intermediate level. We're going to move a little bit quicker. Um, so some of the other classes that I have recently posted have been a little bit more foundational Pilates um, based classes and so this is going to ramp it up just a little bit of a notch. Um, as always, feel free to take modifications that I offer, you come up with yourselves, um, but we're going to use a little bit more props and try and challenge the pace. So for class, you will need some small hand weights. These are two pounders. I would really highly encourage you to not use anything greater than two to three pounds. We're gonna be focusing on smaller muscle groups, specifically around the rotator cuff and the shoulder. And so if we get anything higher than that, um, we're really gonna get out of that, that focus of the, the shoulders. Um, and so soup cans, small hair products, hair spray bottles, um, anything of that nature that are just, seems like a couple pounds of weight work really great to substitute for hand weights. The other things I'm gonna suggest for class for props, if you have a circle stretchy band, um, these work wonders for um, when we get to the portion where we're doing some bridge work and challenging the outside of the hips. Again, just a simple option. If you don't have a band like this at home, no worries. You'll be able to get along just fine. And then last, finally, we're gonna use either a small Pilates ball, child's ball at home, or a yoga block to place in between the inner thighs, um, between the knees for some inner thigh hip work as we get there during some core stuff too. Um, if you don't have a ball or a block handy at home, you could use a paper towel roll just to place in between the thighs during that portion. So a couple little suggestions for easy to use um, at home equipment. Otherwise, if it's just you and your mat and your body, that's great too. So we're gonna start in standing doing some squats, adding a little bit more fluid movement to these squats today. So with an inhale breath, reach the arms up, lengthen the spine, and then as you come down into your exhale, you're gonna sink into your squat, arms are gonna go back behind you, call these airplane arms, and open the chest. Okay, so we're gonna follow the breath as you inhale, press into the feet, rise up, and exhale, sink, squat. Belly pulls up and in, press through those feet, inhale, and exhale. So these are sweeping squats. Inhale, breath, rise up, lengthen, exhale, back down. I'm going to create a little bit more of a movement rhythm here. Feel free to follow your own breath as you flow through these two motions. Rise up and squat. So as you press into the feet, feel the energy along your whole foot, but specifically along the heel. So if you can press into the heel, see if that can fire up a little bit of the base of your seat, close your glute. Last three here. Two. As always, I'm gonna cue the breath and the belly. Stay here in the squat, draw your navel up and in, little baby pulses. Okay, so optional arms here. I really like the airplane arm just for the sole fact that you can open up Squeeze the back side of the body and the chest is open and stretched. If that doesn't suit you, you can kind of get the same engagement with the hands down at the hips, or you can do hands at heart center. My only hesitation with this is it really kind of does round the shoulders forward. So wherever your arms are suited, feel that burn in your legs. Good job. Last five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna go bigger motions. Squat down and up, down and up. Again, optional arms here. If you wanna keep the back body engaged the whole time, you can keep them where my arms are. If you wanna add a little bit more fluidity, and up. Reach forward and up, forward and up. Good, not only feeling the front of the thighs working, but you're also finding the base of your seat with that press. Inhale and press. Last five, four, stand all the way to the top. Three, two, and one. Little baby pulses and hold, 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 hold. Good job, breathe here. We have five, four, three, 
two, one. One more time with the squats. Up and down. Up and down. So if you are familiar with bar work, this portion right here, going from large to small movements, those pulses, and then the giant squats, the regular squats, resemble a lot of the bar type of mentality. It's getting your body warm, your muscles warmed up, while also, you can maybe hear it in my voice, a little bit of heart rate elevation. Last five, four, three, good, two, press tall, and one. Good, reach the arms all the way up, little baby back bend, cactus the arms open the chest, and come back to center. Okay, so I'm going to turn sideways to face you. What might be handy is having your hand weights handy in front of you along the mat space, as mine are here. Feet are going to come wide, toes pointed out. We're going to find a sumo squat. So I usually have a little hip discomfort, especially on the left side. So I tend to have to kind of find, wiggle myself into the sumo squat. Unlike the last squats, pelvis is going to sink straight down. Chest and hips are stacked on top of one another. Now from here, this would be a good place to kind of reach forward, grab your weights, just bring them up to you, okay? So we're gonna settle into this sumo squat here, find that space, chest is lifted. Let's just go up and down, up and down. Now I notice I had to kind of wiggle my feet a little bit, so if you need to take a moment, find that space that works for you, your body, your hips, go ahead and do that, up and down. Now here's where you can ditch the shoulder and the arm work all together. You don't need the weights or you don't even need to do the arm work. You could just stay here and follow the legs with me. If you want to add some arms, thumbs are going to point up. Thumbs are up towards the sky. You're going to go out and in. Out and in. Here we go. Exhale, stand. Inhale. Out and in. Last five and four, three, two, and one. You got it, little baby pulses, holding at the center. Now, stay here in your pulses. We're gonna hold the arms out and just hold, 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 hold. Last five, four, three, two, one, we're going back to our big motions. Bicep curl and up. Bicep curl and up. Good. So again, any of these arm variations, if they don't feel good to you, ditch the weights. Choose another variation that I've taught you. Or just stick with the squats. I like them as a good distractor, anyways, for the leg movement that we're doing. Good job. Last five. Hip sink low, four, three, two, and one. And holding, first pulse, 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 pulse. And let your arms rest for a second, because we are gonna use them. Last five, four, three, two, one. Hold your sumo squat, find stillness, arms come out, little baby circles. Thumbs are pointed up towards the sky. Shoulders are down your back, little circles forward, forward, forward. Good, breathe. Last five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, good. Last time going out and in, out and in. Good work. Driving through those heels, feeling the squeeze as you press up through your glutes. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the bottom, circle back, 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 back. Legs should be burning by now. Now, as you get tired, especially through your hips, my knees want to come inward. So I want you to keep pulling as if there's a string attached to the back of your knees. Keep pulling them out backward from your hips. Last five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way tall. Wiggle walk your feet in. Set those weights down. Set a little bit of spinal mobility here. Keep the legs wide. Shift over to the right side. Reach that left arm up and over. 
and then go ahead and switch and switch. So we're gonna make this fluid. It's gonna feel good through our spine. Inhale as you reach, exhale as you press through that foot. So your legs are working, switching sides. Follow your own breath. Good, now pausing over to the side here. Pause, pause, pause. Twisting your chest towards the floor and then twisting your chest up towards the sky. Good, last time here, twist towards the floor and then twist up towards the sky. Coming up and switching over to the side. Now notice my arm, my bottom arm is resting on my thigh, but I could take it away. So it's really my core system, my trunk and my strength that is holding my body in space. Last time up towards the sky and rotate towards the floor, come all the way back up. So that's really how you're gonna get more out of your workout. Try not to rely on your body weight or sinking into the poses and the postures. It's really lifting through your muscles um, through these different poses that'll kind of cue you through. You're gonna get more out of it. So coming to stand at the back of your mat, feet hip width apart, take an inhale, reach all the way up. We're gonna do a roll down here. So as you exhale, I want you to imagine there's a post sticking up in front of the ground in front of you. You're gonna actually, you're gonna scoop your belly up and in as you dive over that post, gentle bending your knees as you sink low. Finding a forward fold here if you're familiar with yoga. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, draw the belly up and in. Start to round and roll your spine back one little piece at a time. Inhale, reach up overhead. Exhale, scoop and round up and over that post. Inhale, breath at the bottom. Exhale, scoop and round it back up. So we're using our core, articulating through our spine. It's like a little massage. Let's go last time here. And then exhale, scoop and round all the way back up. Good. Cactus the arms a little baby back bend. We're going to get ready to come down to our mat. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come to the mat. From here, walk your hands out to a plank position. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders, pausing your tall plank. We're gonna do quite a bit of planks today. So if at any time this tall plank position doesn't suit you, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your core, your back, drop your knees. Extended tabletop is always welcome. I'm gonna demo most of it in tall plank here, but just know you can drop your knees. As you take an inhale breath here, reach your hips high. Find your downward dog. Maybe pedal out your feet for a moment. Reaching one heel down to the mat, one at a time. I can tell I've already elevated my heart rate a little bit as we warmed up with class. Maybe you have too. This is, down dog is a great place to just kind of settle and regroup. Find your breath. Now find stillness with your heels. As you take an inhale breath here, reach the heels up and start to shift your weight forward in your plank. Find an exhale, roll it forward. Find your tall plank position here. As you inhale, come back, downward facing dog, lift the hips. As you exhale, as if you could roll your body forward like a slinky, like a wave, roll it forward from your plank. Inhale, shift it back. Down dog. Exhale, roll it forward. Two more like this. Pause in your plank. Feel that stability. Inhale, lift the hips. And last time, exhale, roll it forward, initiating from your belly, tall plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Now from here, take a moment to pause. We're gonna to start to shift through some different plank variations with the right leg. As you inhale here, reach your right leg super long, knee is straight, glutes engaged, belly pulls in, avoid arching at your low back, three-legged dog. Now, as you exhale, shift forward, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Right knee to right elbow, plank, and knee to elbow confined. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Repeat, inhale back. Exhale, knee to right elbow. We're gonna walk three each direction. Inhale, back. Exhale, twist. Knee to left elbow. Really pause, twist, hollow out that belly, pull it in. Feel that squeeze, inhale, return. Exhale, squeeze and twist. 
Inhale back, we have one more. I'm really intentional about my pace and my breath, it's not fast. Coming knee to nose in the center, hollow out your spine, plank and cat combined. Inhale back, exhale, hollow out the spine. Everything is still on the right side, you guys. Inhale back, exhale, third and grand finale. And then step your right foot between your feet. This is where you might have to wiggle walk, depending on where you landed. The use of a block could be handy. Pause in your low lunge. Find very little weight on your fingertips. So let your legs do the work here. Draw your belly up and in. Left fingertips, hands stay in contact with the earth as you reach your right arm up and overhead. Good, coming back down. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, back down. Let's go one last time. Inhale, up and overhead. Good, from here, side plank. We're gonna transition. So listen, right hand stays planted on the ground. You're gonna hollow out your belly, pick up your right foot, set your right foot back down behind you, twist, lift the left arm up and open. If this full side plank expression is not in your practice, drop your bottom knee, find this modified plank. I promise you will still get so much out of this. Holding, 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 breathing. Pull your right shoulder blade down into your body. Option to gaze up towards your left hand. Last three, two, one. With control, set your right knee down. Great. We're gonna stay here in this modified side plank. You can keep your left hand here or you can bring it to your hip. We're gonna lift this top leg up, searching for this outer hip. We're gonna lift up and down. Exhale up. Inhale down. If you can see your foot in front of you and you're feeling a lot of your hip flexor, that's not quite where we want to be. We want to be more glute oriented, okay? More back, outer side. Just sweep that foot back a little bit. I promise you'll feel it. There we go. It should be hard. Last five, four, three, two, and one, hold it up, little baby circles. You can point or flex those toes, doesn't matter. Now I am fighting to hold my body still. I am fighting to hold my body steady. Part of that comes from the stability on my right shoulder. Plug that shoulder blade into your spine, pull your belly in, lift your hip. Last five, four, three, two, one. Turn back to center, let the knees come wide. Toes come together, sink into child pose. Take a moment, breathe, and exhale. Last breath in, and exhale. Good work, you guys. From here, tuck your toes underneath, hands come back underneath you, lift up into downward facing dog. I'm gonna flip positions. You guys stay right where you're at. This way when I turn to my side plank, I'll be facing you. So lift up, downward facing dog. Take a moment to catch your breath, pedal out your feet. You know where we're going with this. So find stillness. Switching over to the left side this time. Take an inhale breath, reach your left leg. Notice I'm not going for height here. I'm going as far as I can without arching my spine. As you exhale, shift the weight forward, left knee to left elbow. Hollow out that belly, make that core work. Inhale back, exhale forward, left knee to left elbow. Inhale back, last time here. Inhale back, finding that twist. Exhale, twist left knee to right elbow. Inhale back, exhale, twist. Last time here, inhale up, exhale, twist. Oh, it feels so good. Inhale up, exhale, knee to nose, hollow out that spine, shift forward, cat and plank. Inhale up, two more here, you guys, you got it. Inhale up, exhale, cat and plank. Grand finale, set that left foot down between your feet, or between your hands, excuse me. And you might even have to wiggle walk it there. Good, prop yourself up, find stability in that leg. 
fingertips, right fingertips towards the ground. Reach your left arm up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come back down. Last time. Inhale, reach. And exhale, plant your left hand. Transitioning into a side plank. How about the belly? Lift that foot up. Twist open the spine, the chest, and really find that stability here. Holding your side plank. Option to look straight forward or gaze up towards your top hand. Really think about plugging your left shoulder, your left shoulder blade down into your body. Pull it towards your toes. Last five, four, three, two, one. Oh, the beautiful sunshine's coming in now. It's awesome. Good. Drop your left foot down. Option to bring your hand to your hip. I'm going to scoop my left hand underneath me a little bit. It's getting a little far away. From here, we know where we're going. Lifting up that top leg. And down. Up. And down. And down. And down. When it gets hard, we keep going. We keep breathing. It's the only way our body changes. You'll notice, if you take my class a time or two, that I keep things moving. I may slow things down, but I don't necessarily stop. So I encourage you all, even if I'm giving instruction or if I'm continuing on, take breaks when you need to, but also continue. This is your class. Last three and two and one. Good, rest it for a moment. We've got little baby circles lifting up. Circle, 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 circle. Good. Breathing here. You got this. I'm burning and sweating just as much as you are right now. Woo! Last five, four, three, two, one. Walk it down. Come to your hands and knees position. Optional child's pose once again. Otherwise, find a little cat and cow stretch. Whatever really feels good to you in this moment. Find some freestyle. Might even want to shake out the wrist. We'll love the wrist a little bit. Beautiful job, you guys. Okay. Coming to hands and knees. So, we're going to come to hands and knees. We're going to do some bird dog. A little bit of variations. So, we're going to start traditional. You're going to connect to your breath belly button spine connection. Think about that grounding maneuver as you reach out from your center, possibly lift the back toes. Notice I'm not arching. Inhale back, exhale. Connect from center, then reach. Inhale back. Good, so we're starting nice and traditional. This is a classic, you guys. I swear, bird dog is one that we are continuously growing and improving upon. Doesn't matter how many years you've done this exercise, there's always more to it. There's always room for improvement. Now, on this next reach, pause at the top, find your length, breathe as you need to. I'm gonna do a starfish. So think about a jumping jack. Arm and leg come out just a few inches, and then back in, and together. Stay on that same side, reach it back out, apart, Back in, together, back, out, apart, in, together, good, last four, and together, last three, breathe as you need to, use that belly button spine connection, last two, last one, and in. Good, switching sides, reach the left arm out, right leg out, or whatever side you're on, we go out, in, together, exhale, out, out, in, in, out, apart, in, together. I'm trying to find words that best describe this. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is second side, out, apart, in, together, last, three, apart, in, together, and two, know that if my pace is not suiting you, slow it down, it's totally fine, together, I think this is a bonus, 
you know this about me, I'm not a good counter, especially when I'm doing exercises with you. Press it back up, downward facing dog. Nobody ever really complained about the extra added bonus, at least not to my face, they don't. Good, with control, go ahead and walk your hands back towards your feet. And then with control, roll all the way up. If you want to do a full body reach here, you can. And then hands to heart center. Good. So I think you're going to be on the opposite side of your mat than I am. That's fine. Go ahead and grab your ball or your block, whatever suits you. I tend to be a ball fan when I'm doing Pilates work. Place it between your knees. You're going to come to your front of your mat. Place it here. We're going to just do one full roll down to get down to our bridge position. So sitting up tall on your sits bones, take an inhale. Exhale, draw your knees together. Sink back past your sits bones, scoop your belly in, roll down one little vertebrae at a time. One little piece. Good, then as you inhale, reach the arms overhead. Go ahead and pull the feet in closer to you. Okay, so feet are in towards your hips. Go ahead and place your hands down at your sides. We're gonna start with a traditional bridge. So legs are squeezing together, making contact with that ball, paper towel roll, block, whatever is here. You're gonna lift your hips up on your exhale breath, find your bridge. Take an inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, press right back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your breath going here. So it's not fast. It is slow. It is intentional. I promise we will get just as much out of this workout by going slowly as we would if we did going fast. Last five and four and three. Good. Drive it up with those heels. Glutes engaged. Two and one. Hold it at the top. Little baby pulses between your knees here. Pulse, 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 pulse. Now, as you're pulsing, check in. You should have no strain in your low back. If you do, you're probably lifted too high in your hips. So drop it down a little bit, draw your belly in, lengthen your tailbone, see if that helps you. Let your glutes be a guide. Good, little baby pulses. Last 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to bridge lift up and down. This time we're gonna go a little quicker. Up and down, up and down. So with your breath, don't forget about it. Use it as you need to. Breathe as you need to. Good job. Let's do last five, four, feel inner thighs yet? Two and one, hold at the top. Now option to go back to your pulses or if you wanna layer it up, you're gonna kick one leg out. Notice I didn't drop my hip, I did not arch my back. Kick the other leg out so there's a tiny baby shift of your weight into whatever leg is gonna stay in contact with the ground Pick the opposite leg up, squeeze it, reach it. Inhale as I switch, exhale, connect and kick. Again, if you have any hamstring or low back discomfort with this one, this is as advanced. Just go back to your pulses or go back to your regular bridges. Let's go two more each side. Okay, I'm not moving quick here. Let my breath, my core tell me when. Good, roll it all the way down, beautiful. You can keep the ball where it is, pull your knees into your chest, little rock side to side. We're gonna work into some abdominal work. You can keep the ball or the block for now. All right, coming into tabletop position, hands are behind your head. From here, I'm really picky about crunches, you guys. So think about that belly button to spine connection. This is an intermediate class, most likely you've done my classes before and you know what I'm gonna say. Pull your belly down. Do not let it poof up towards the sky as you do these. That's a big no-no for many reasons. So as you inhale here, prepare. Exhale, draw the navel in, lift up an inch. Inhale down, exhale up. So we are using 
our transverse abdominis, our deepest abdominal muscle, which is a part of your core, to lift our upper bodies, to stabilize our spine and our pelvis. Good job, you guys. Keep that tabletop position. I gotta tr keep track of my own shin bones. They like to do funky things. They like to go up or down when I get tired. I know those inner thighs are tired, but keep a little energy on the ball. Last four and three and two and one. Good, set your head down, set your arms down, keep the ball where it is. From here, adding a little bit of rotation on your exhale, shift your weight over to your left hips. And then as you switch, go over to the right hip. So my belly is still controlling the motion. Inhale back, exhale, rotate. Now, option to stay here. If you wanna layer it up, you can find an extension of your legs. I get a little shaky as I do that. Exhale, switch. Little shaky, reach the legs up. You want a little extra layer, layer number three. As you reach the legs, baby crunch, reach towards those toes. Exhale, reach. You can flex or point the toes, doesn't really bother me. The gymnast in me usually wants to point them. I think I've gotten out of that habit lately with all the yoga. Exhale, reach. If you are starting to feel a lot of your hip flexors at this point, focus in on your belly. Your belly should be doing most of the work here. Another tip or trick is don't let your knees get too far away from you. If you have to pull them in a little closer to your chest, you absolutely can. Let's go one more on each side here. Again, belly pulls down, eye lift up. Switching sides last time. Belly pulls down, I lift up. It's like a teeter-totter. Beautiful. Oh, thank goodness. She's going to let me put the ball aside. Get rid of those inner thigh work. It's full body stretch here. Good. Now, I did poor planning on where my equipment is placed. But maybe you didn't. Go ahead and grab your band. So if you have a band at home, grab it. One thing you also could do on um, Hindsight 2020, should have thought about this at the beginning of the class, but we learned. You could place a belt or a yoga strap around your thighs, make it nice and snug, snug about hip width apart, and then you could do the same kind of thing. It's just not going to have that little stretchy give. Okay? So band can be placed above the knees, or my band's not very strong. It's kind of a little bit loose, actually. I'm going to place it below the knees. Okay? So the intention of the band is to help keep me working towards my hip width apart placement. The band's gonna wanna kiss my knees, pull them in. I'm gonna have to use the outside of my hips to hold it steady. Oh, that sunshine is lovely right now. I'm not even complaining about my squinting. So from our bridges, we're gonna repeat this. We're gonna exhale, press up. Keep the space between your knees and your feet. Inhale, lower, exhale, keep it. Inhale, lower, exhale, keep it. Good. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, good, lifting and lowering with control. Beautiful job. So there is a squeezing sensation of my glutes at the top, but it's more so a pressing. So what I mean by that is think about driving through your heels and it's the press up that activates my glutes. It's not so much that I'm clenching and squeezing my butt at the top. Good, last three, two, and one, good, hold it at the top. Little pulses outward. This is where you start to feel that band, my friends. This is where you start to feel that outside of your hips. Good, so they're tiny little baby pulses. I want you also to think about not only using the outside of your hip muscles, but be super stable and still in your body. Good, tiny, tiny, tiny movements. Let both legs work evenly. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Lift it up and down. This is where we add a little bit of speed. Now this is just for fun. If you want, let the arms reach up towards the sky. 
just takes a little bit of stability out and you might notice more of a wiggle in your hips as you go down and up. So try and take the wiggle out, go straight down and straight up. Good. Last five and four and three and two and one. Good, this is where you can stick with those pulses if you want to. Otherwise, hands are gonna come down. We're gonna start to shift the weight, reach the leg. Good, so this is where, <laughs> rookie mistake, because I have the band around my shins, it's gonna wanna roll up above. If you have the band around your thighs, this will be less of a problem. But because of my exercise choice, and my band placement choice. I'm battling with that just a little bit, but that's all right. We're gonna stick with it. Good, shifting the weight over, extending the leg out. This is where it's fun to try and keep that space. It's a challenge. My leg really wants to come in. My knee wants to come towards one another. You guys, this is super challenging. If you have any straining in your low back, please, 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 please stop immediately and pick one of those alternative routes. Let's go one more each side. I would even typically usually put this in an advanced class of mine, but we're gonna throw it in. Okay, good, bring it down. Hug those knees into your chest. Knees can come together if you want. Rock that band, those knees side to side, slip the band off. You can set it off to the side. Beautiful job. So for your last little bit of core work here on your back, we're not gonna need a band or a ball. Hands are gonna come up back behind your head again, interlace your fingers to support your neck, your head. As you find your exhale breath, you're gonna find your crunch. So technically head can be down this whole time as we do our different leg movements, but if you wanna layer it up, you're gonna stay in your crunch. You're gonna stay connected here. Now we're gonna do some various leg movements. First one here, draw your navel down and in. We're gonna go toe taps. Notice as I lower, my back and my pelvis did not arch or lift up. So my belly goes down as my leg reaches down. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, good. Now the key with this is we start to advance our abdominal work is to hold onto that belly connection the whole time. A lot of times on the inhale breath in a beginner class, I will tell people you can let go of your core, you can let go of your abdominal connection. But because we're doing something advanced here, we can't. We have to keep engaged the whole time. I would rather you rest and come down, take a true break, and then rejoin the group when you're ready. Now, advancing, layer it up again. You know me. Gotta always switch it up, make it fun. Exhale, reach out, 45 degree angle. Inhale back. Exhale, reach out. Inhale back. Exhale, reach out. Inhale back again. Thinking about that tummy connection, belly pulls down, narrowing your waistline, creating a flat tummy space. I don't know anyone who doesn't like that idea. So oftentimes when I see people doing advanced core work, their belly just pushes straight up towards the sky and creates this little little hill shape, and that's not true core engagement. Last one here, and back down. Good, take a moment's rest. We've got one more. Awesome job, you guys. So any of those previously showed ab exercises are fair game. Otherwise, you're gonna join me for bicycles. So everyone loves a good bicycle. Good bicycle ride, all right? Come back up. Find that core connection, belly button sinks in. Now, I'm gonna slow this down to start. Right leg reaches out. I'm already lifted. I'm not gonna bring my elbow any closer upright to my knee, but I am gonna twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale, reach the left side. Twist the upper body. So notice, if you can see me well in your screen, I'm not really lifting my chest any higher than it started. I'm honestly just rotating my entire upper body like it was on a dowel. I kind of sometimes think of myself like a little shish kebab. Like there's a shish kebab 
post or I don't know what you want to call it. I'm tired. <laughs> Running through my spine and I am rotating on it. Skewer, that's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. Last one on each side here. Inhale back, last grand finale. My body is shaken. And back, that deserves a full body stretch. Oh, so good. Feels so awesome. All right, shifting back into here. Coming back to our glutes, hands and knees. From here, go ahead and stack your hands and knees underneath each other, underneath your body. We're gonna go through some glute work. So from here, hands are gonna stay planted. If you need to, if you have any wrist discomfort at this point, you've done quite a bit, hands and knees. Grab your hand weights. Neutral your wrist by just kind of using this as an alternative, okay? So from here, go ahead and connect to your core body your belly specifically, reach your right leg out, okay? Now, from this posture, I'm gonna have you really think about connecting to your belly, lift that leg up, bend your knee, okay? So do not arch your back here. This is the top part of this motion of an exercise I call pizza tosses. You're gonna come straight back to this. I don't wanna see this whole number here. That's not doing your core any work and your glutes any, any favors. So I want you to think about knee comes in, exhale, pull the belly up, squeeze the glute. So where I get the name pizza tosses from is I imagine bottom of my foot is my hand holding a pizza platter and I'm tossing the dough in the air. I don't know, at some point it came to me, it made sense in my brain. Maybe it sounds like nonsense speaking it out loud, but I think it's cute. Inhale in, exhale up and squeeze. Being cautious not to extend, you overextend yourself. Do not arch your back. Last four, three, two, and one. Good. Now, before we switch sides, right side, side is still engaged. I'm gonna come out, so I'm not doing a traditional fire hydrant. I actually really don't like those very much. But instead of a fire hydrant, and instead of a pizza toss, I'm gonna come in between. So my, my leg is still angled. I like to think of these as frog legs. Like if a frog is jumping through the air, its legs are kind of back and behind. Good, so you're gonna inhale knee to center. Exhale, frog leg squeeze. Inhale knee to center. Exhale, frog leg squeeze. So my knee and my foot are still kind of angled up and back, away from my center, away from the floor, up towards the sky. Now, the other thing I didn't really point out here is I want you to really be focused on not shifting your weight over to the opposite side. So in this case, my right leg is lifting. I'm not gonna shift my weight way over to the left side. Don't let that left hip stick out. Last three, two, you'll notice this is kind of an upper body workout is in itself, one, and switch. Good, shake off the wrists, maybe roll them out a few times, and then come right back down. All right, shift inside, we're gonna go a little quicker now that we know what we're doing. Tuck those left toes under, connect to your core space, lift it up, inhale down, Exhale up. Pizza tosses, my friends. Good. As we're working through the second side, you know what's going on in that lower body. You are connecting up to your belly, pulling it up away from the floor. Plug those shoulders down and in, away from your ears. Good. Last four. This time I'm being cautious not to shift too far over to the right. I kind of caught myself there. Two. And one, good, little frog legs out, and in, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in. Last five, and four, three, two, and one. Good, stay center, switch legs. 
Bring your leg back up to pizza tosses. Little baby pulses on the right. Pulse, 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 pulse. I did that pretty quick. Hopefully you caught it. Switch sides. Little baby pulses back on the right side. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Last five, four, three, two, but you can guess where we're going. One, little baby pulses come out to that frog leg. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Good job. Breathe. These are not easy. Stay centered, stay focused. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, switch inside. Left leg up, pizza toss, pulse, pulse, pulse. Good job, you guys. The little baby ones are really what gets you, what gets you going. Breathe, avoid that arch, pull your belly in. Last five, four, three, two, one. Straight out, frog leg pulse. Four. You might even notice <laughs> your outside hip, whatever hip your knees in contact with the ground, has to work pretty hard here too, especially if you're taking my advice and not shifting way over to the side. It's a lot of work for your body. These really are full body exercises. It's about toning, endurance muscles, Posture muscles, that's what this is all about. Last five, four, three, two, one. Walk it down. All right, everyone ready to child's pose. Woo, we are almost done with class. Give it a little rest, a little rock. Take a breath in and exhale. Last time here, inhale. And exhale. Good, coming up, hands and knees. Tuck those toes underneath you. Lift those hips up. Last grand finale here for the arms push-ups. So coming and shifting your weight forward, find a tall plank. If you want to, drop your knees, find an extended tabletop. We're gonna do quite a few in a row here, so I'm actually gonna join the extended tabletop version. If you wanna stay up here, push-ups are welcome, or you can kind of mix and match, all right? So in your push-ups, your chest is gonna come straight down between your hands, elbows are gonna be in towards your sides, your face is gonna be out the front. So as you find an exhale, draw your belly up and in, lower your body, and up. Go inhale down, exhale up. Notice I switched the wrap, I changed my mind. Inhale down, exhale up. Probably wondering how many of these do we have? We have five more. Breathe with me. Four. Three. Two, keep those elbows in towards your sides. Shoulders away from your ears. Last one, lowering with control. If you want to join me, tall plank position, counting to the count of five, we're going to lower all the way down to our bellies. Last five, lower four, three, two, one, and rest. Good, take a moment. Set one to your breath here if you need to. Hmm. Full body motions today, full body movements. As you're ready to do so, you can flip over onto your backside body. Take a full body stretch. If it suits you, you can cross your right knee over your left, figure four. We did quite a bit of glute work today. Little baby rock side to side. You can also keep your foot planted on the ground. And then go ahead and stretch. Left leg crosses over the right, pulling the right in towards center. And then rock side to side. Coming up to a seated position. I'll mirror all of you. So you're gonna sit on your right hip. Legs are gonna go off to the left side. And then from here, knees are just kind of bent my left hand's placed on my knee. Reach your right hand up and over. Side body stretch. 
you're going to lengthen and stretch through your rib cage and then find that gentle twist once again rotate the chest towards the floor and then inhale look up and over underneath the arms towards the sky twist forward and up Let's go one more time each side so it's like this little twisting sensation through your spine like my shish kebab analogy my skewer analogy that I couldn't think of the word for earlier and then inhale up good switching sides like spiral over to the opposite side right hand reaching towards one of your knees left hand reaches up and over this time create length in your body as you do this and then twist just breathe how you naturally feel you want to here. I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, I took a few of my, my favorite movements, my favorite postures and yoga Pilates and um, bar and kind of fused them all together. There's quite a bit of strength and endurance work for your muscles today, full body. Last time here. And then go ahead and find stillness. You can come to a comfortable seated position facing forward. Legs can be crossed or straight. Um, if it feels good to sit on top of something, a block or bolster, you can do that here. Option to join me in ending the class with a little bit of mindfulness. Hands can be resting in your laps, palms face up or down, or option to bring hands to heart center. Close your eyes here. Just appreciate how this feels. So through class, we worked a lot on spinal movements and stability, the core, and lengthening of the body. So oftentimes our daily postures bring us forward and um, downward in motion. And so the ability to find length and stability is good for our bodies, challenges our bodies in many ways. I encourage you to feel your seat beneath you on whatever surface it's sitting on. Feel this weight and heaviness there and feel a length and a lightness of your spine lifting up towards the sky. As you take your final inhale breath here, option to reach the arms up towards the sky, lengthening your full body. And then exhale, hands can come to heart center. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Um, I hope you all got something out of it and could appreciate the increased intensity and pace of the class. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you.